Hello everyone and welcome back to Mixbus TV, mixing and mastering tutorials on YouTube. Today I'm going to show you a way to use a well-known trick, which is the track preset. Since Pro Tools 10, we can save track presets. So our track with our plugins, IOs, sands, whatever we want. And I have it available in the list of new tracks when we click here new track, we have the regular ones, audio track, sox input, and if you see down here, I have a whole bunch of preset track that I made for myself. Some are effects, some are instruments that I use, and one in particular is what I want to show you today, and is what I call routing matrix. So, and this is a very interesting way to use the track preset, so take a look. If I click Routing Matrix and Create, instead of one track, see, I can import in any session my whole multibus routing matrix and my master bus. And the way I used to mix and the way I'm used to and just have all my plugins on it and most important, my routing. So let's take a look at it. We saw in the last video how to set up a multibus mixing template and this is very useful because pretty much that is the important part of that template but this way I don't use a, tem a template. So let's say I'm recording a band and I'm not sure how many tracks there are gonna be so I don't want to use a template. Maybe I'll use 12 mics for, for the drum, maybe I'll use 20. I don't know. Uh, same for the guitar, same for the vocals. So I will open tracks as I track, as I record the band, as I record the artists, but um, without without worrying about, you know, a template. And then when I'm done, or if I receive a Pro Tools session from a client to mix, I just, you know, take the tracks and open this routing matrix and just you know, I have all my multibus already set up. And regardless how many tracks or what they did on that session. And this is a great way because it's, I find it more useful than using the template. So as you can see here, I have my snare sum, uh, my parallel drum, my two verbs for the drum, and then my buses my the stems my black buses my groups drum bus bass out guitar out uh, lead vocals music and effects then i have another effects here that i keep it i keep separated from everything else because sometimes i use it sometimes sometimes i don't it's an exciter widener uh, and i will send stuff through it uh, as i feel like and then i have my master fader with all my two bus processing, I keep my two bus processing here. And then in a minute, I will tell you why. And then I have my mix bus, which is the tr the aux track where I'm monitoring my, my work, my mix. And then the last one, the, the mix print, where I print my mix sent from here. Now you see main out is grayed out because this was the template I use in studio. Here I don't have my SSL, so the IO is kind of fucked up. So. Uh, just qu quickly, um, the reason because I keep my two bus processing here on the master fader, so this is an actual master fader track, is because it's the only track in Pro Tools where plugins are uh, pre fader. So, meaning, let's say I have a compressor on my master bus. If I want to hit the compressor harder, I just push the fader and all my music, all my mix technically is just gonna hit the compressor harder or the opposite. If, I, if I'm hitting it too hard, I just, you know, push it down and I will hit compressor, you know, less aggressively. So keep keep that in mind, guys. Um, the master fader is useful for that. The master fader track as a type of track is the only track in Pro Tools where plugins 
are post fader. So you can keep, you know, attack and release and, and threshold and ratio on your dynamics here on the two bus. And if you need, you just adjust the fader. So let's go back to our routing matrix. Um, I explained how how to set up this move to bus thing and how I route it. So each black track, which is which are uh, aux tracks, are routed to here to my master bus, to my mix bus, and um, all the the audio tracks pretty much are routed through to these buses, you know, accordingly. So drums, bass, guitars. So let's get to how do we do this we we just do the same way that we do uh, a regular track so we start blank and let's say we want an audio track well let's say let's just do it for the buses so five stereo aux a master fader another stereo aux I'm keeping it simple right now and an audio track stereo for printing so at this point you open the tracks make them black start renaming drum so drum say bass guitars and vocals oh, and music okay now these ones let's just bust it these groups we send them by clicking uh, shift alt all together to the mix bus here see all of all of them are routed their output are routed there and my master fader we route the input to the same mix bus this one we do the same color just this and this would be my mix bus. I guess we just call it master. And the last one would be my mix print. So we route the input to that track to mix print. We send mix print, pre fader, and Right now, we're making it active. The input of what the mix bus is going to be obviously mix bus. And so, this is just an example. Again, you can customize it the way you want it, the way your, your workflow is, and it's going to work. So, right now, you have your routing matrix. And you go to File, Save as Template, and we call it routing to select location okay so the place is this I'm on Windows so you go to program files you go to Avid Pro Tools and here you can see there's the folders let's say session templates you will find that there and then there's this, this track preset. This is not there. You have to create this folder. So create, if you don't have it, create track preset. And then inside the track preset, for each track, for each track that you save, that you made as a preset, you need to create a folder. So right now we are going to do it um, for the one I just created so we right click new folder and we call it routing 2 we open it and inside it we call we save this routing matrix that we just did 
routing two save it's done so if i clean the project and i go to track new track i will find my routing two it's right there i click create and it's there one click our multibus routing setting and of course you can save plugins on on each track as you want it and in it will save it within the 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 tracks preset it normally has as you do with with one single track so that's it um i hope it's been informative and um, if you have any question please comment like and subscribe and see you next time